I got a comment this past week and the question says, uh, hey coach, I had a question. I'm currently going through some physical pain due to some health issues, which I noticed can cause my personality to change due to pain, irritability, etc. However, I still push myself to making it work with women. It's like I'm trying to be in positive spirits, but while I'm communicating, my nervous system is like, you are in pain, I'm not letting you think clearly. My question is, do women have a pretty good intuition of like, dang, what's wrong with this guy? One day he's smooth and the next day his mind is everywhere, not knowing of what I'm going through. It's not an everyday thing, nor do I talk to the same ones every day, but I am hoping I'm still making progress even though inside I'm a mess. But yes, I'm taking all the steps to get the physical and mental health fixed. I'm just feeling blah and too uh, compared uh, when my game can be proper. Has this ever happened to you? Thanks in advance. Well, so a few things are going on here. So to start off with, um, not that I've been in extreme physical pain, but I, you know, I've, I've done this exercise over the years where I've noticed that depending on certain foods that I eat, it will change my mood and how I'm thinking about things. So I found for, weird enough, I found, for example, if I eat pizza, my, my automatic thought is like, blah, like I don't want to talk to nobody because it's, it's a lot of bread and calories and stuff. And I find like, I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want to be bothered. And, but those are things that like when you're in a relationship, like it's really hard to do that. Like you can't just be like, well, I feel like blah, so I don't want to talk to my significant other for the next like two days. Like you could try that, but your girl's going to get annoyed pretty quickly, right? So while it's not similar, it's more so parallel, I will say this, is that kudos for you one, for being able to recognize that your physical ailments are causing you at times to feel certain ways that are not conductive to a proper building of attraction with women. I think that's admirable. I think the great thing about the dating phase is that you're not promising them that you're gonna see them every day. And so on the days where you're feeling less than, this is not the time to be contacting them or trying to go out with them, right? Uh, because here's the, here's, the, here's the truth, right, is that Women, yes, women can be very, very understanding, but they do not owe us their presence when we're being crappy to them. And so if you find that the situation you're going through causes you at times to want to be a crappier person or to lash out or to be irritable, they're not going to enjoy your presence and it, it, they, they don't deserve that kind of presence from you. Like, and, and I say this knowing full well that yes, I know in a relationship, the reality is you're not gonna be happy every day. You're not gonna feel your best every day and there's gonna be times when you are cranky. That's all great for the relationship phase. But in the dating phase, you're trying to put your best foot forward because the idea is that you're building enough of a good impression with her early on to where that'll be the anchor. That'll be the thing that she thinks back to on the days in the relationship where you're not the best person and we guys are fighting with each other. She'll still know, but I know this guy overall is a great guy because of this experience that I had with him during the honeymoon phase where he was showing me all the respect and love and care. So in terms of uh, women knowing things, it's not a matter of whether they know or not because a woman can know like, hey, oh, he's going through pain, oh, whatever, but that doesn't take away from the experience she's having with you when you're in that pain. It doesn't take away from you being irritable towards her when you're in that pain. She can have an understanding of it and still be like, but it's it's annoying and it's bothersome and dude's not speaking to me respectfully. And so here's the thing, but here's the other thing too, right? Is that going back to the food thing, I know if I eat certain foods that I'm going to feel a certain way or I'm gonna feel less than or whatever. So, but if somebody that I'm dating is in my presence, I have to think, okay, I'm feeling this way because of the food I ate or because I just had a hard day with this and that. At the end of the day, they're not my punching bag. So although I'm feeling a certain way, I gotta suck it up and treat them with the respect that they deserve because they're not doing anything to me and they don't deserve to be my punching bag. And so this is where, this is where we get into things of like, you as a guy have to understand that you are in control of your emotions and your reactions. I know when you're in extreme pain, it doesn't feel like it, but your logical brain still has the ability to say, oh, I, I, I'm in pain now, I feel weird now, but you know what? I don't, that doesn't give me an excuse to now curse out this person or yell at them or lash out. Like 
you have to be able to fight past that and get to your logical brain and say, they deserve to be as respected as when I'm feeling good about myself. And then go forward. Now, if you find you can't do that, you can also say to them, hey, you know what? Right now, I really wanna like talk to you, but I, I'll tell people, like, because I'm so, I'm so in my head about this stuff in terms of like, I know when I do certain things or eat certain things or, or do certain exercises, I'm gonna feel X amount of way. I will tell women that I'm dating like, hey, you know what? I, I ate a pizza today and I'm feeling kind of groggy. So I just kind of like need to be to myself or, you know, it's cool if you're here, but I just, I'm not gonna be talking a lot. I hope that's okay. Because here's the thing, women are fine with that kind of stuff if you are able to verbalize out loud like, hey, this is what's going on in my head or this is what's going on in my body, and this is why I'm feeling whatever, you know? Because women just don't wanna be left in the dark. Like, they'll be able to at least understand where you're coming from or know what you're going through if you tell them. If you try to just hide it and be like, everything's fine and whatever, but then you're still acting irrational towards her, now she's gonna think, why is he suddenly treat me like an a-hole? At the very least, if she knows what you're going through, she can be like, okay, he said he's kinda cranky right now, so now I know his crankiness isn't caused by me, I don't have to take it personally, and now I can decide if I wanna still be around him or if I wanna head on out, you know? So as you're going through your healing journey, there's gonna be days where you're not feeling your best. Nobody said you gotta to talk to these girls when you're not feeling your best. If it's, if it's days in a row and you're thinking, eventually I gotta see one of these girls, you got a choice to make, which is if you're making that choice, do you understand that they're not your punching bag and you gotta still treat them respectively, regardless of how you're feeling. If you're able to do that, then you'll be able, you'll be able to hang around them and not have your pain that you're going through be a deterrent to how you're gonna treat them. You know. So hopefully that answers your question. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are stop. high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man.